Hello everyone, so you've come across a new issue with the Cyberflix 3.1.7 Whereas you go into it and no movies or nothing will come up um, I've tried clearing catching data on the app and starting it up again like from new but it doesn't work um, So this is how you're going to correct it Okay So you're on your, um, your Amazon app and as some of you may or may not know, you have to download an app called Downloader. Now, Downloader looks like this. This one here. All right. Now, what you need to do, you need to go up to... All uh, right. Sorry, it's all back to front here. So you need to go up to, up to the corner here, search, and then search for this, Downloader. Download it. Click onto it. But first, please uninstall the 3.1.7, okay? So uninstall the Cyberflix completely, okay? So then when you come onto your downloader, it will come on to this bit here. So you need to go up to home. You need to type in this, which you'll already be at the HTTP. You'll already have that and the two dots and the slash slash. Put in cyberflux.me. Right, so then let's just show you how that comes up. Oh, damn it, sorry. So, come down to go. Right, so once you've entered that, come down to go. And as you see, it'll bring you onto this site here. Okay. I'm not sure if all the writing's coming up back to front, but it is on my camera, so sorry about that. Um, so then you just scroll down. It says, go to download link, yeah? Click on that. Then download APK. Click on that. And scroll down a bit further after that. Download Cyberflix TV. Click on that. As soon as you click on that, file download progress. It only takes a little while to download, which is fantastic. You wait for that to load. And you wait for that to load. And you're still waiting. But it's not too long. Some, some of the downloads are like quite big but this is straight off of the cyberflix website so you'll have no problems and no issues and no malware so okay so it's going to come up like that as it normally does click install i've already done it so click install uh, once it's installed it'll ask you if you want to delete the file you're more than welcome to delete the file but i just keep it as a safe backup plan for next time you can always delete it later through download. You can always just delete them. So I'm going to delete that because I've already got it. Because I've already downloaded it once and got it working. And then that's it. And you can you come out of that, you boot it up, and it's all done. It's all done for you. And well, all my movies come up because nothing was coming up whatsoever. So all my movies come up, and yeah, that's it. So. Peace out yet again.